and just as she kind of explained, it sounds like it's going to go into the county, but yeah. um, you know, probably where the county gets their matching funds from may not make a difference, right. whether it comes from the RTC or whoever. I'll second that. With the note of a carryover. Carry over. Yeah. 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 Carry over? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Now, I'll do it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Board member reports. Any report? Rogers are happy with the weather. <laughs> so, I'd like to make a, a report. I'll have to get help from the city treasurer. When would be a good time if we have to look at our budget? So you got time to adjust the budget. We have to come back. We as a city can ask for an augmentation of RTC to skinny down the transfer from the general fund into the road fund. You know, the last minute when we get to, you know, the, uh, I don't have to have, to, have, to have a public hearing. We'll have this meeting hearing, and then you can still get it into your final budget where we would adjust this year's budget going forward. Oh. And correct me if I'm wrong. But when you say augment, I don't think that's what we were, we're looking at. We're talking about appropriating money that's already in the budget to go to something different. And that can be done pretty much right up until the end of the fiscal year. When you talk about augmenting, augmenting, you have to have unbudgeted revenues to be able to budget, um, to augment your unbudgeted expenses. It's a balance there. So I think that's the way I take it, and it's something that we can do right up until the end of the fiscal year. And well, I don't have the RTC breakdown for this for, for the year we're in right now. It would just be appropriating it from one item to that you have it in for supplies. I just need the warm and fuzzy of what you're talking about doing is, so you all understand, and if I'm going to ask for money for our wages and benefits. I'm sending RTC a bill. I need RTC to send me a check for it. And that's how, the only way I see it would work for our street department and our, our life. Yeah, well, wording, I guess, it's an option. I mean, we'll just wait to get the wording for the augmentation. Because if we use all the money up in the RTC and we're looking at the end of the year, instead of 138000 to get the road fund into the black, which has always been a nightmare. Yeah. You know, then there might there's a two hundred thousand. Well, again, I'm I'm against using general fund money to keep on being, You know, that's what I'm saying. Is can we go back to the well and whatever the word's called, appropriate yeah. augment to this unmeasured revenue? Well, and, and honestly, we have different figures on what we think yeah. the okay. year is going to be. So, okay, so that's it's so, just to keep an eye on. It. So the question is, what if we want to have another meeting so we can get it scheduled? What would be it? We, we need a meeting because RTC, if they, we can bring anyone out of the RTC fund balance, they're going to have to approve. Well, I, I don't see taking it out of the fund balance. I see taking it out of what's already budgeted for this year. That's the way I'm envisioning it because you're not planning on spending everything this year. So if you just want to appropriate it over for wages and benefits, we would just request it, I guess, they would need a meeting to approve it. Mm -hmm. So well, we need a meeting though. To approve it. Yeah, we because you know the you know BJ's got uh, two hundred and seventy five carryover. If it's in there that's fine, okay. Then we take eighty thousand. Now you don't got two hundred correct. That's what you're saying. Yeah, so there's yeah. so the final budget's on that we back in state right? May fifteenth? Yeah. May fifth well the end of May basically the twenty for ours anyway it's the twenty something of May the board will approve my final budget and I'll ship it off to the state. Okay, so now I understand you're saying yeah. the rollover that we may not have to 
two hundred and seventy-five thousand rollover. It may yeah, be two hundred thousand. Yeah, that. Correct. Yeah. Okay, but right. thank you for the clarification. But well, I, I think it's important uh, for this committee and everyone. We're, we're working on tentative that somewhere in the first week of May we meet because then we'll have figures from both the city and I think everybody's figures will start to come in and then we as a RTC can finalize our in a budget go, that goes into the state and that gives us time so if we look at somewhere around the first week or the second week of May no later than the second yeah. we meet to where we get all these figures put together and we can turn in our final budget because we're going to have a tentative to work on uh, you know, you have a 40 days or 30 days, what's the April 15th to uh, May 25th, so that's almost a month and a half to get all of our numbers as close as we can, but well, to turn in for our final budget, which goes in on the 25th, that will be uh, implemented on July 1st. So as we round table and we think, let's put our minds together to know we're going to meet somewhere in the first or the second week of May, to come with the numbers and then we can find them out. It gives us 10 more days, right? So let's let's kind of look at that if somebody's got a calendar. So do we want to do a specific date? So well, the first what, week is first through the fourth? Well, or? we'll round table it and see when everyone can be here, but making, using those dates, the first week or the second week, and get a date and then first implement week. that day, whatever we can all be there. First is that good enough for everybody? Is that good enough for everybody? First through the fourth or the eighth through the eleventh. All right, well, pick one, Tuesday, whatever day. Uh, is everybody? Let's let's just say May tenth. Wednesday. Whatever day of the week that is. Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, let's make it the eleventh because it could be a county commission meeting on the tenth. Okay. So uh, let's do it in the eleventh. Is that is that it? Uh, Eight a.m. on the eleventh, May May eleventh. Is that? No, I said May. Yep. Uh, is that good for everybody else? That's what I'm suggesting. You got so city meetings. Pardon me? Morning, you got city in meetings the morning, on no, Thursday. Meet, and then the city would meet in the afternoon for their yeah. meeting. Utility, utility, utility board in the morning. Utility board? Oh. Yep. Well, then they get another day. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the That's why we're talking. So 8th is the Tuesday? 8th is the Monday. Or the Monday, yeah. Today's a Monday, so yeah. yeah. Monday. What about the night? The Monday is the day we use the new reporter group. Oh, okay. yeah. The night would be the day, probably best day. Monday or Tuesday. Okay. That's fine. Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. And whatever we need to have in this meeting for backup, whatever, just make sure you get it to me before. Five days before that date, so I can get everything sent out. Yeah. At least five days. That would be posted five days before. So no, before would be great. Uh, can we make a motion <laughs> to, to set that date? Yeah. Yeah, let's make a motion to set that May 9th, 8 a.m. here, and then it can be agendized and everything, and everybody has plenty of notes. Is everybody good with that? Yeah. You have a motion? I make a motion. I'll second. I'll second. Aye. Aye. In your discussion with Port Group, is anything you talk about funding and about rebuilding highways? He, you you mentioned last week, or she, he did, that they noticed through the state, the state, you know, not just end off. Throughout the state, there was a lot of flooding. He was in the bubble. We commented on the bubble. Richard, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. so the RTC minutes from 9-1-22 and 11 17 on the September 1st meeting, the very, on the first page, comments from the public, that's a minute. There's a what? <laughs> Spelling error. Okay, let me grab it so I can just... On the first page you said? Yeah, the very bottom. Three and two. Oh, I see what you're saying. It auto-corrected it, so something that wasn't that. I thought it was something that you tried. That's fine. 
Anything else on that on those ones? No. Okay. And then the next ones would be the um, the November one that didn't get approved last meeting because I did them wrong. I sent you the wrong ones, but it's right on the agenda. So there's those ones. <laughs> I'm going to call you on that one bunch of minutes you said. I'm reading them and it says, something yeah. else in the next year to look at me. <laughs> that was his last year's question. Yeah, I was like, oh, I got busy. With it. They're the same date. They're both the 27th. So I just kind of like skimmed through and didn't notice that one was one. Yeah. one. Yeah. The Christ was all I don't think I was even there, was I? No. Well, I'm sure it was. Grand 11. Well, it says that you were. Uh, uh, you were here. Yep, it was Jim, Wayne, BJ, Matt, and myself, and George. You were not here. You were the one before. Oh, okay. You were here the one before, and Jim was not here. So the 9 1, so the first set of minutes, and then the second set of minutes, Jim was here. So go to the second page, top of it, and. Oh, you don't got it. Okay, it says uh, add to just keep the 12 foot base of tattoo. Well, uh, is it inch two uh, dots? 12 foot base would be 12 inch. I'm is it inch the two dashes? Oh, okay. I never know the difference between the two. <laughs> Public comment. George, anything else you want to bring up? Anybody else out there? How about you, Mr. Commissioner? Nope. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there was an engineer that evidently approved the uh, access to Terry Best's lower lot. I asked him uh, which attorney he used to uh, confront the state to get it. He said he didn't have to hire the uh, attorney. Some engineer gave uh, the okay and it was no cost. I don't know which engineer it was, but I want to know who it is. I had to pay for mine, even though I had one prior. I don't like the discrimination. Uh, also, Mr. Chairman, I don't know who's fixing it up projects. Uh, you know I'd like to know, other than that, I'll uh, keep asking. In an earlier meeting, uh, I reported in the middle corner of Avenue K by the old Pentecost Clinic, that uh, might be a senior center now, I'm not sure. Uh, that project is new, no proper ADA access. You're going to do items, you do it right the first time. Here you guys are trying about uh, enough money, and I can understand that. But when you spend the money to do a project, do it properly. If you don't have an engineer who understands proper ADA access, you need to start shopping around. I asked the past about uh, parking permits uh, needed for uh, my properties along Green Basin and uh, Almond. I want to remind you that Copper Queen is allowed, the restaurants are allowed. The Bristlecone Hotel's allowed, and others allowed, I want the same consideration. If there is no permit required, I don't want public officials blowing smoke in my direction. Get somebody else who knows what the hell they're doing. Thank you. Any other comments? Not for the
This has been a Georgetown production, George Chatches reporting.